up everyone, it's Blueberries, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Twixter in Sony Vegas. Uh, I know some of you guys probably aren't going to be Sony Vegas, and if you're not, then you might as well just click off. Uh, but, um, I just now figured out how to use a Twixter in it. Um, I think it's fairly smooth how I use it, so you just saw a preview earlier um, with this shot right here. Uh, I don't add Twixter on the actual trick shot when he's spinning, I just add it whenever he shoots. So, um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So first of all, you're going to want to sync your clip before he hits. So for example, I did that with the velocity. Um, so like he's running and all this is velocity. And then he hits right here. So I just kind of cut to when he hit and then into that. So you don't have to be perfect. I just did that. It looks fine. Anyway, so then after that, um, imagine this doesn't have Twixter on it. Let me just take it off. Uh, I use Shaw's Twixter settings. So you can go ahead and I'll link his channel in the description. Uh, so you can go ahead and um, you can go and check his out because this is his Twixter settings. Um, anyway, so obviously we're gonna go on Twixter. Uh, don't use Twixter. Use Twixter Pro because I don't know. Just everybody tells me to, so I'm just doing what everybody says. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry about that. I had to cut because my shit takes fucking forever to load. Anyways, um, so yeah, so you go to Twixter Pro. Uh, I have my preset right here, which is Shaw. You can comment on my settings. Um, these are my settings right here. This is usually at 100%. Um, so, uh, whatever your frame rate on the clips are, so for example, if I go here, frame rate is 60 FPS, you want to change your frames right here to 60. So, let's say, for example, it's 29 or 30 FPS, and you want to change that to 30 or 29.94 or 59. Point, it, you have to do be exactly what your frames are, or else it's not going to look smooth. Um, your speed, uh, that's, that's just how, you know, how fast you go. Um... Track quality best, 100% from BG Motion Sense. I don't mess with this. Um, check Smart Blend, all these to be checked. <coughs> blend Inverse, that I don't fucking know. I to up to zero. This is usually be on cut A. I don't really think it matters. Um, uh, actually, I'll tell you what to do with that. Sometimes it does matter. Okay, so um, once you get this in, this is how I keyframe it. Uh, I'll do animate and I'll go 10 frames in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll do 2%. You can go as low or as high as you want, doesn't really matter. The lower you go, though, the smoother it's going to look because um, the less movement you're going to be doing, which means less warp. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, and then you should get the uh, slow motion effect like this, where he, where as soon as he shoots, it just, I don't know, I think it looks really clean. Um, so, that's how you do that, but sometimes it messes up and it'll be like choppy and it'll like repeat itself a hundred times. Uh, not a hundred times, it'll like keep repeating itself. So, if that ever happens, just change the cut to cut B or cut C and then you should be good. So, other than that, um, that's really it. <clears throat> you, you really just do this to all your clips, like you can do it to the reload too. I usually, um, whenever I sync these. Oh, this doesn't have to experiment already, I guess. Yeah, okay. So usually on like whenever he reloads like this, uh, I'll just I'll go from right here and then to the next beat when he reloads. So it'll be like sort of like that. Uh, let me turn up my volume a little bit. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Okay, well you can't fucking see it, but yeah, so he'll go like he'll be like right here and then he'll just he'll just go right into the reload. It's the same method, you just put it in here, make sure your FPS your frame is the exact same as what your clip is, or else it's not gonna look smooth. And then go to your go to your shit. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you just do the same as you did last time, and it's gonna look. You're gonna have the same effect. It's pretty basic. Um, on shots, you can do this. You can do this right here. Uh, it just doesn't look as smooth. I tried to do it on the the first clip actually right here. Well, I don't. It got deleted. I don't fucking know why, but um. Anyways, yeah, I tried to do it on this clip before, but um, it didn't uh, didn't turn out too well because it, it was too much warp because it moves too much. See, because uh, see, look, he he just keeps spinning and it, it'll just make a terrible warp effect and it's not gonna look good. Anyway, so yeah, those, those are uh, my settings or actually Shaw's settings. But um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'm sure you guys already have. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, other than that, um, so yeah, see you guys later.